Gotta, gotta, don't ever put water bottles next to technology, Jesus. What's up, everybody? Did you ever want to ask your favorite famous YouTuber and streamer a question? Well, today you've sent me a bunch of your questions. I have a bunch of answers for you. So today is Nighthawk Plays Q&A. If you'd like to see more content like this here on the channel, make sure to smash that like button. Let me know in the comment section what you think and or what you would like to see. And of course, if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell to get those notifications going. So without further ado now, I think, let's get into it. Also, I stream daily on Twitch from 8 a.m. from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure to go to twitch.tv slash nighthawkplays to check me out daily vibe with chat and most likely troll me all right first question is from miss iowa and it says if you could have are you kidding me all right let's see if happy can who's your favorite ch all right now this is this is the trolling that i'm talking about from the community because i can't answer that all right uh looks like chels asks which superhero has the best quaff in your opinion Ooh, that's a great one. Uh, I would actually say Wolverine. His little original, like, crazy hair that comes out on the side with that little thing coming down in the middle of it is uh, wild and would absolutely love to be rocking it if I had the hair to do it. Um, obviously, I'm a big fan of Superman, so having that S in the middle over there. And uh, you know what? Actually, Quicksilver as well because he's got that slick back wild spiky looking thing in the jake so yeah those are three all right kayla asks if you could live anywhere in the world where would you want to live I i've said this before uh i've i've gone to many san diego comic cons uh thanks to my my prior job and overall fandom and i absolutely love san diego every time i visited I've never wanted to leave. The the weather, the the food, being able to wear a hoodie essentially all year round. You wake up, it's a little overcast. It really doesn't break 80. You're not sweating. There's no humidity. I absolutely love San Diego. So that would definitely be a place, if I'm thinking outside of, let's say North America, I like Stockholm. I visited there a couple of times, um, but if it's a place that I, I haven't been to, I've, I'm Italian. I've always wanted to visit and check out Italy from everything I've seen. It's it's a place that I feel like I would absolutely love. Also, probably New Zealand, so I could live as a hobbit in the Shire. Dame asks, is there any other profession you wanted to do while you were growing up? Uh, yeah. So this really wasn't a profession when I was growing up, uh, streamer and, and content creation. The biggest thing in school was really essentially uh, PCs, graphics, wanting to be a teacher and things like that, but I didn't really want to do any of those things. For me, I loved movies. I loved uh, living in different worlds, sci-fi, comic books, and things like that. So for me, I actually first went to college and wanted to be a film and production major. I wanted to be a, a director. I wanted to be an actor. I wanted to be the next Steven Spielberg or, or Brad Pitt. That's what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to go into film and production. I wanted to write stories. I wanted to produce them. I wanted to direct them. And I wanted to act in them. I, I love the idea of bringing a story to life that's in your head onto any type of screen. And, and actually, funny enough, it's it was kind of cool because I've been able to do that on a couple of occasions. Well, at least the acting part of it. Yes, when I was in college, I was able to record a couple of uh, short, like noir, black and white films for, for film and production 101 and 102. But a little bit later in life, like my early to mid 20s, I wanna say, I was afforded the opportunity to be a character and act in a film, very indie film called Nikki Newark, where I played a character named Paisan. Now, if you know anything about me and you hear the name Paisan, you, you can't correlate the two. Uh, it's because Paisan is a literal, full-blown, pop, ah, pop-collar, Italian, uh, you know, crazy 2000s type of, of, of character. The one that you can think of, Hey, oh, girl, what you doing, honey? Yeah, 
I played a character like that in a movie and it was hilarious. It was awesome. I don't know if it's necessarily going to be once in a lifetime, but being able to live that, fulfill that, go to the premiere, have the DVD. Yes, DVD. That's how long ago it was. Uh, it was absolutely incredible. Do I hope to do that again one day? Yeah, but I'm not, you know, I'm not counting on it, right? So yeah, acting, directing, something something in that field, I would say is probably the answer. Castle, great name by the way, asks if someone walked up to you with a million dollars cash and said you could have it, sorry, and said you can have it if you never streamed again in any way, would you accept it? Well, words are hard. And this is a great question because a million dollars, uh, it's a million dollars, don't get me wrong, but it's not as much as you would think, especially if you have to step away from what is presumably your, your, your main source of income, your career. So as much as I would most likely take care of, of Oliver and Chloe, my, my little boy and little girl for, for at least up and maybe through college, you know, a uh, college and university is very expensive nowadays and assuming they're smart, like their mother not like me, college is not going to be cheap for them. <laughs> so, so taking that into account, uh, what I'm doing today, what I want to accomplish over the next five years, if someone literally said, here is $1 million cold, hard cash, but what you're doing today, streaming wise, you can never, ever do again. You're not allowed to stream at all for the rest of your life. I would probably have to say no to that. Hope my reasoning makes sense. And, and what do you think? What do you think about that? What would you do? Let me know in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you what you say and what you think. And uh, I, I do read the comment section. Well, it looks like we got a couple of streaming questions up next. So Fatback Barbecue, Fat Pat Barbecue asks, great name, by the way, what's been your biggest fear before hitting go live? Oh, that is an interesting question. Well, outside of technology, outside of my control not working, whether it's internet connection, audio issues, uh, updates on the game that I'm trying to play or software, put that aside. I mean, to be, to be real with you, and that's what I want to be here. And you'll see that in future videos we're going to have here on the channel. And if you've ever watched one of my live streams, I am very uh, real with you and on who I am and what I am and why I do things. So for me, it's, it's really, I mean, losing you, losing, losing the community. Um, it's not necessarily streaming to nobody, um, or, or cause I understand there's lurking. Y'all have jobs, even though this is my job, y'all have jobs. You can't be in here 24 seven cause I'm not paying you. Right. So I get that, but there's something about losing the community and i know nothing could technically last forever but i've been doing this now since what did i say september october 2017 whenever battlefront 2 and destiny 2 was coming out and uh you know i've had a journey and a half and through there i i and i know a lot of other streamers say this so i hope you know where this is coming from whether you're new here or have been here for a while You've really become family to me. And through the good days and through the bad, through me, sometimes not being the best me on stream, you know, you've you've been there. Whether it's the private DMs, whether it's been the back and forth that we've had in chat, y'all coming through on those days that I least expected, especially when it comes to charity and our, our drives for St. Jude. Um, it's honestly and wholeheartedly and sincerely losing you as a as a community i don't know how to explain it because i'm not afraid of of dying i'm not afraid of all these other things but i have a fear of being alone and i've said this before on stream and i know there's people watching and i know there's people lurking and all those things like that and i don't know how this sounds to you i don't know how it comes out but once again, I'm just trying to be real. Yeah, that is that is a great question, Pat, because I don't know exactly how to put that into words. And I don't know if I did a good job explaining it because it's not streaming to no one. It's not a financial thing with zero subs or or bits or tips. It's 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 this community and where we started and 
seeing all the conversations and jokes with 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 Mabermoo coming on in and <laughs> the BBW with Chells and Shy with their Christmas gift pillows, but obviously everything before that with Leish, with Dirty, with Gage. Yeah, remember? I mean, remember when we did the mod takeover and just the laughing and the joking we all had? And I know times change and, and things change and you know some days are good and some days are bad but yeah it's you the community yeah I, I hope you know whether it's me or any other streamer we don't forget about you we at least i do remember everything so when we don't see you for a while and you pop back in and say hi we truly do and i truly do appreciate you being here because it's like a family member that i haven't seen in months or years 